We are Brooke and Gary, and for the past two years, we've been sailing around on our floating home, One Life. On our last episode, we met with Wasteless World to try to organize a beach cleanup, volunteered at Bocas del Toro's very first recycling center, and sailed to Cusipin, where we will begin this episode. Yesterday, we went into town, into Cusipin, and we had a really cool experience. We met a bunch of the children and people who lived in the village, and they actually took over our GoPro and got a bunch of footage. And then we couldn't film anything else because our GoPro battery died. But this morning, we are still here, and Gary's getting ready to go up the mast. I need to gather my tools first because it's a lot easier to bring it with me than have to have Brooke send it up. So I try to bring one of everything because I don't know what I'll find up there. And why are you going up the mast here? Well, it's really common this bay and I haven't been up the mast in probably, I don't know, what do you think, three or four months? Yeah, at least. Six months maybe. And I noticed that we have a little like bird deflector spike thing up at the top of the mast and it's loose. So I'm gonna go up and fix that and then give everything else an inspection. I'll show you when I get up there. Okay, so to climb our mast, we have an ATN mast climber. And basically what this is, is it's a bosun's chair with a couple of rope climbing, I don't know what you'd call these, I guess clamps. And it basically allows me to pull myself up the mast, but to be extra safe, we use a second climbing harness on a second halyard. And I wear this as well, and that way I don't die. You take the bosun's chair, clips over the line like this, and then this pin goes through it to hold it on. And basically to climb now, it'll slide up, but it won't slide down. The other one goes below it, and it's for my feet. I use the bag that the mass climber comes in as my tool bag because it's got a little buckle here to snap to myself. Whoa! <laughs> this gets clipped. So the other halyard will attach to this. I'm sure someone's going to comment that I shouldn't climb using these snap swivels and not to trust these splices, but. I inspect them every time I go up, and I've got two on, so I think it's okay. I always put my weight on it first right here, just above the deck, and make sure that it's all connected right. That way if I fall, it's one foot. It is time to hoist Gary up, so I'm going to put the camera down. Let's get him up the mast. This spreader boot here, which is on the tip of the spreader and protects our sail from getting chafed or punctured by the spreader, had come loose. So I just finished repositioning and retaping that. And then this is a radar reflector, which helps us show up on other boats' radar systems. And the tape at the top of it that protects the attachment there had come off. So I just retaped that too. But I'm gonna continue on up to the top of the mast now. Okay, ready to go up. Ow. Bad news. I always hate when Gary says bad news when he's on the mast. <laughs> so I can't see what's going on up there. Our staysail is shredding. The left tape at the very top has like shredded apart. We're gonna have to pull that sail down and get it repaired or have a whole new left put on it at some point. But there are no sail makers near us, so that'll have to wait for another time. All right, so I am now up here at the top of the mast and here is the part that is hanging loose. It's just held on with a couple cable ties, so I just need to Resecure that and then I'm going to inspect everything else up here 
and see how it is. Our head saddle attachment is right next to me here and this all looks good. The idea of these pointy strips on top of the mast are to keep birds from landing on it and they've done a pretty good job. Although we did have a bird land on our wind direction gauge at one point and it snapped off one of the indicators. But so far I think they're doing their job. So I'm gonna keep them up here. They are now reattached with new cable ties and I'm just gonna give everything else a quick look over while I'm up here to make sure everything looks good. No cracks, no chafing, no wear, no loose hardware. And then I will head back down. It's uh, looking a little stormy, so I think I better get down before the rain comes. You made it. Welcome back. Got down just in time. It's a little cloudy out. I said that up at the top, so oh. I better hurry up and get down before it rains. <laughs> Gary got down from the mast just in time. One of the really cool things about this lifestyle is obviously the ability to move your home wherever, whenever you want. And so we are moving again today. And this time we are going back to Bocas Town. We spent just like one and a half days here in Cusapin. Unfortunately, it rained most of the day yesterday, so we weren't able to really get out and explore. But we're headed back to Bocas Town to do some more recycling work. And there is, of course, no wind again today. So it looks like we'll probably be motoring. And it's about 26 miles back to Bocas Town. So we think it'll probably take us about five or six hours. Uh, we have to wind through a bunch of mangroves to get back there. So anyway, but at least it's sunny today. So that's really nice. We are anchored in about 58 feet of water, so it's taking a while to get this anchor pulled up. And I think this is the deepest that we've ever anchored, actually. And we put out all of our chain, and it's very muddy, so it's taking Gary a little while to pull it up and rinse it all off. episode is brought to you by Epic Water Filters. We partnered with them and Wasteless World in Bocas del Toro to organize the cleanup that you'll see in this episode. If you'd like to donate to Wasteless World, please check them out in the link below. We'll be donating 100% of our ad revenue generated from this video to Wasteless World. So if you'd like to help out for free, a like, share, and subscribe will go a long way. Thanks so much, everyone. We hope you enjoy this episode. We just got word that our Epic package is here. They sent us a bunch of water bottles to do prizes and giveaways at our beach cleanup this weekend. So we're gonna pick it up, but we're pretty excited. We weren't sure it was gonna get here in time for the cleanup on Saturday, but it made it. Gracias. We grabbed our recycling and the water bottles and took off to the recycling center. There was lots to do before the beach cleanup. We are 
are almost to the recycling center and I just saw a guy on his bike pedaling all of his recyclables to the new center. As we pass all the trash along this roadside, man, it's such a problem. And it's not that people don't care, it's just that there's really no place for it to go. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Are you guys sorting the caps? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Good job. Trash bags full of plastic and glass are dumped on the table and they are sorted appropriately from here. Some items arrive dirty and aren't able to be put into the baler because it will ruin the machine. We try to dump out as much as we can into this bucket of sludge, but some require a bit more cleaning. We've been super busy at the center today. We have had a lot of stuff come in, which is awesome. Super excited that the community is supporting this project. And yeah, now we're gonna go have some lunch and then we're just gonna get, keep going, getting ready for tomorrow. Gary and Tom went back to the recycling center. The engineer and me had a big problem watching the glass fall out of the sides of the shaker after it's crushed. So I went ahead and built some sides to help corral it and keep it off the floor. Meanwhile, Miguel and I went shopping to get all of the rest of the things we needed for our big day. Miguel and I are picking out vegetables to make lunch for tomorrow. He's a culinary chef, so he's got it down, hopefully. Well, yeah, we're, <laughs> we're trying. <laughs> We're trying to buy enough gloves for the cleanup. We're yeah, trying to buy 60 yeah, and there's not enough. He's <laughs> <laughs> crazy. You can't see me, but I'm on a bike with our groceries <laughs> in a little cart. I think we got almost everything we needed though. Oh, thank you so much. We made it back with our groceries. All right, so all of our stuff finally made it to the guest house, the Wasteless World guest house, where we are gonna make lunch for everyone for tomorrow. But yeah, it was an adventure getting it all back. It was pretty fun. Anyway, we're gonna do some cooking now. Get everything ready for tomorrow. Do the cubes of the tomato and then uh, make the wraps, like assemble. Got it? Ready? Great, ready. Let's cut. We're ready to go. Okay, so it is 11 p.m. We're still cooking. Do you think we're gonna be ready for tomorrow? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> We did it. It is, what time, Gary? Two. It is 2 a.m. <laughs> done. Oh my God. Finally, and we have to get up in like, what, four hours? We've got an hour ride back to our boat. Drink your wine, let's go. <laughs> I need to sleep or I'm gonna be very angry. <laughs> this morning is the day we've been waiting for. 7 a.m., we're really tired. We didn't get home until like, 2.30, 2.45 last night. Anyway, we're ready to go pick up some trash and have a really good day. Hopefully we beat the Bocas Beach cleanup record, which is 52 people. So we need to have at least 53. <laughs> All right, so we have like 30 people right now. Not quite the record yet, but there's still hope. <laughs> so we're getting ready for the cleanup. We've got a big group here and everyone's pretty excited. We're gonna see how much trash we can collect today. I think we're gonna end up with a lot. These water bottles are amazing. They come with a carbon filter, which you can literally, uh, you know, you could 
out of any tap here, right? And we know that we've got a problem with drinking the tap water here. These guys, that you've been drinking the we've tap been drinking water this since you've been here, and they're still alive. <laughs> <laughs> they obviously work. The goal today was to get over 53, well, over 52 people. That's the most people we've had helping in a cleanup. And I could say, just looking here without actually counting, I think we beat that. But let's do a really quick one, two, three. The cleanup is underway, and it's really amazing to see 70 some odd people all walking the beach and picking up trash because there is so much plastic and trash on this beach. But after today, there will be a lot less. <laughs> Why is it important to clean up the beach? Because then the fishes don't die or the turtles. So they don't die. Good job, you guys. High five. Thank you. people here helping so good to see and we have locals here we have other sailors here we have expats it's just really cool I'm freaking stoked about it can I ask you a question sure where are you from are you from Bogus oh no I'm from Virginia Virginia <laughs> ah nice very cool what brought you here today um just to help out yeah? because we're very involved in the environment awesome so, thank yeah. you so much sure, yeah. <laughs> and so we're from Mothership Mother Shiva Drift is our channel, yeah. We'll post their channel in our description below. It's really nice to be with One Life. We bumped into them in the Sandblast and yet again here in Bocas, and I think we'll be going the same way, so that's really cool. We're finding syringes and lots of nappies or diapers. Oh. They seem to be the main, you know, stuff that we're finding. over on the table over there they're all made by wasteless world they're all made out of recycled or sustainable materials uh, and that is a big way that we fund a lot of the work that we do want to say one last thank you to our sponsors for today who are paying for this band they're paying for the the, uh, the food and the beers uh, that is epic water filters so again thank you epic you guys are epic you guys are all epic <laughs> to rain on us so that's okay we came into the recycling center and the kids are taking turns crushing glass I hear the machine in there it's really loud but it's super cool for the kids to see how they like change the world today or help to change the world by picking up glass on the beach and then bringing it here to the recycling center so so cool it's been such a great day literally so cool <laughs> We ended the afternoon raffling off the water bottles. It was truly an amazing thing to be a part of. With the help of over 80 people, we collected 90 bags of trash, and we look forward to planning our next cleanup. All right, we made it back to the boat. It was an amazing day. We met a lot of really cool people here in Focus. And we were really surprised about the turnout. So shout out to everyone who came. You guys are amazing. And yeah, now we're gonna get the boat ready for Gary's sister, Marley, and brother-in-law Scott to come in the morning. <sighs>
Are you ready? Yeah. I'm ready to take a nap. <laughs> and then we'll deal with stuff. <laughs> nap time. <laughs>